well, different problem in Colombia. It's experiencing the lowest interest rates among Latin American economies. The central bank has cut rates seven times since June trying to stimulate the economy, but it's an uphill battle because consumer demand remains weak and the inflation rate it is stubbornly low. Michelle Begay has our story from Bogota. Colombia, Latin America's fourth largest economy, reported that the inflation rate for March was under 2 percent, well below Colombia's target rate. To reverse that trend, Colombia's rate cut should weaken the peso, which should boost the economy by making the country's exports cheaper to buy. Those two forces are good for inflation, in the sense that inflation is low, but are in their selves a bad signal for the economy. Colombia's central bank is aiming for a 3 percent inflation rate, plus or minus one percentage point. An inflation rate trending lower has been a concern here. Analysts say it could make consumers delay purchases on the expectation that goods will continue to fall in price. That could stall the economy even more. On the streets of Bogota, some consumers express the opposite concern. The prices in Bogota, even the rent, is much higher. The food, in fact, every time the year starts, only the salary is proportional to the consumer price index. Everything else is much higher. What we're seeing is that food prices are rising, but our salaries stay the same. Leonardo Villar, former member of the Central Bank's Board of Directors, admits the country's standard of living isn't where it should be. A weak economy and slow inflation has prompted the central bank to slash 200 basis points from the key interest rate in less than a year. At 3.25 percent, the lending rate in Colombia is one of the lowest of Latin America. And that's, I think, the big benefit of this, that Colombia today is facing the lowest interest rates it has ever faced, in, again, over the last uh, 40, 50 years. Uh, we're having 10-year uh, interest rates below 5 percent in the government bond market, which is, which is great news for the economy, great news for the corporate sector, and great news for the investment that needs to be undertaken in Colombia for the next uh, few years. Michelle Begue, CCTV, Colombia.